it seems the liar in chief is taking us to war again, or he's wanting to. And they're putting their little baby coalition together. I told you you'd get some buddies and try to do some stuff. Well, I've been staying silent, letting everybody get their feel of what they say on the news and other YouTubers and junk. It's time for me to get it on. Tell you how this is going to ride out. You don't quite have it figured yet. Now this is a, Mar a Moscow article. Of course, Moscow is on the United States shit list uh, for many reasons we won't get into right now. But you know the Ukrainian thing. So it's saying that 10 Arab states have agreed to join this so-called coalition against ISIS. And I'm going to tell you right off the bat how this is going to ride. You got told that they're going to put some of our guys over there as you know, trainers, advisors, logistics, junk like that. So we got guys over there. The number kind of sketchy, you figure total amount of people they claim is anywhere between 1,000 and 1,600. That's a good ballpark estimate. <clears throat> so, you remember months and months ago, if not a year ago or so, he wanted to saw it out. Look, I told you it's about regime change. Mubarak, out. Saddam Hussein, out. Muammar Gaddafi, out. Jacked around in Yemen, changed some stuff there. Jacked around in Tunisia, changed some stuff there. Done some stuff in Afghanistan, changed some stuff there. You getting it yet? Syria was a target. They went after Assad. It didn't work. The story about the chemical weapons was United States bullshit propaganda. It got found to be bullshit propaganda. So they backed off, but they never gave up on the plan. ISIS is created by us. That's why they got so much money. You know, they're a well-funded, uh, well-trained, uh, well-armed you know, war machine. You heard them say that crap. Well, that's because they're stealing our money to arm these groups to go do the regime change for him over there. That's Benghazi was running weaponry illegally. That's why they won't tell you the truth about Benghazi. Anyhow, they're going to use this excuse to go in there and, and fight against ISIS in Syria. They made sure they put that in. You can't get him out of there. You know, we can't destroy him or contain him unless we go into Syria. Thereby, they're continuing their original plan of toppling the Assad regime, another regime change, and putting in another puppet that they can control. It is Islamic all the way. You've got Obama turning the tables in the Middle East so that Anybody that's, that's keeping the peace between Christians and Muslims is out. Uh, I've told you before, the scumbags that they're putting in are worse scumbags than was in there before. At least before you had Mubarak, who half-assed, kept some friendship with Israel, and kept the real dirty heathens from going completely nuts and you see what happens now the gloves are off hey let's go cut some heads off in the name of Allah our, our false God you know so you got this little coalition here yeah according to this document what a whopping coalition this is going to be the Saudi Arabia who we've been kissing their ass for 40 years. 
And that's why we're paying what we pay at the gas pump because of tricky dick Richard Nixon and Henry the traitor Kissinger and the deals they cut to screw us in our backside so that they could make these penniless sandites over there rich and they could gain control of the Middle East. It's a long-range plan. It's not something just thought up of a few years back. It's a it's a long-range plan with a big idea for a new world order. You heard that one before from Bush? Yeah, you're going to have Bahrain, Ooh, Kuwait, Oman, Qatar. Yeah, they're, they're real nice, aren't they? Yeah, boy, what a partner to have. And then you got the UAE, the United Arab Emirates, Egypt, Iraq, oh, King Abdullah and Jordan, and Lebanon. Wow. And then, of course, we're going to get some, some little allies tagging in there. Yeah, we're going to get some French. Yeah, you know those French, they like to be like... Uh, Oh, I don't know. You start something and get them down, and then we'll kick them in the balls kind of people. <laughs> you know, you punch the guy out and get him down on the ground, and then they walk over and kick him in the nuts while they're already down. It, they're, they're of no help, but they want to kill some people too. And you're still discussing some stuff, but the U.K., yeah, they're kind of siding up. However, Turkey is, from the last that I heard, they're not too sure about where they want in on this deal, you know. We don't know whether we want you to be able to fly in our airspace and stuff like that. Well, it's kind of odd. They're supposed to be a U.S. buddy over there. Yeah. Well, there you go. This is just what this uh, article covers. Participating, participating states have agreed to do their share in the comprehensive fight against uh, proper name, ISIL, including stopping the flow of foreign fighters through neighboring countries, countering financing of them, ISIL, and other violent extremists, repudiating their hateful ideology, ending impunity, bringing perpetrators to justice, contributing to humanitarian relief efforts, assisting with the reconstruction and rehabilitation of communities brutalized by ISIL, supporting states that face the most acute ISIL threat, and, as appropriate, joining in the many aspects of coordinated military campaign against ISIL. Yeah. These ten countries declared their shared commitment to stand united against the threat posed by all terrorism, including the so-called Islamic State in Iraq and the Levant, or ISIS. Yeah. Now see, this numbers went up. Remember, it was like really low in the beginning, and it crept up to like 20,000. Last I heard, it was 30. And then this article... It could be up to 50, they say now. Hmm. Really? They're going to pour this propaganda all over you for a long time. And I'm telling you, they're not going to get rid of them. It is simply a game, a lie. They're going to allow the beheadings and the killings. They're going to do some fake crap over there. Yeah, they're going to kill some people, of course. They're going to blow some stuff up. But their main target is Assad. Thought you'd like to know, there's also an element in the United States of America called ISIS. You see here, they're claiming they're a protective service. And, uh, a little bit about them. ISIS has demonstrated expertise and success in performing mission-critical tasks at home and abroad. Personnel have been trained and tested, often decorated in the fields of combat, security, intelligence, and more. And they have a big reputation with some of the most respected companies and organizations in the world. 
customers, various branches of the Department of Defense, State Department, National Security Agencies, as well as the most highly regarded government contractors. Mm-hmm. Well, they're capable of a wide range of global security, intelligence, IT technology, logistics, and training. Yeah, train them foreigners so they can be another fighting arm. Yeah, field training support, threat vulnerability assessment. Let's click this and see what we get about their clients. Hmm. There's some clients over here. Lockheed Martin, that's just what they say. General Dynamics. Yeah. Let's see. Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, Iraq Coalition for Peace. Yeah, so they got some stuff over there. In the Middle Eastern area. Here's their locations. Oh, yeah, see. All these little black dots and stuff. Yeah, see. Got some stuff going on, yeah. See, here's some stateside. Got one in my state, Oklahoma, yeah. We're in, just happen to be in Qatar, Saudi Arabia, yeah. Iraq, Kuwait, Afghanistan. Do you get it yet? Are you seeing it? Now, if we don't have enough to worry about, told you before that you needed to pay attention to these blood moons. A lot of people blew them off and said, ah, that's bullshit. Well, you don't know what you're talking about. You got no faith and you don't understand. And I can't make you understand. I can give it to you, but if you don't take it, that's not on me, that's on you. And <clears throat> that's all part of the what's happening is it truly is biblical. You can laugh at it, go on to some other guy's channel if you don't want to hear it. I don't care, because I'm telling the truth. And I know what I'm talking about. Now, we're coming up on a Shemitah year, and that's going to start in a couple weeks. I believe it starts sundown of September 24th. And it's going to run to, I believe, the 13th next year, 2015. Now these are like seven-year cycle years. When you think back, just like this man has explained in, in uh, interviews that he's done and in his books, and he proves a lot of things that do make some sense. Um, so we're going to, we're in something. We're in a time period where something is going on. Something hardcore is going on. And like I said, if enough people prayed, enough people really tried to ask God to, to put the brakes on, on these judgments coming, he would do it. But he's looking down and he's seeing not enough. And it doesn't look like he's going to stop them. It looks like it's going to be judgments as was prophesized. So I'm I'm agreeing with, with Mr. Khan here that uh, we're in something that's gonna continue because he don't see it, I don't see it, I don't see people turning away, not enough of them. So you can Google Shmita you can see his name here. You can listen to what he has to say about these cycles. Because seven years ago, when the financial uh, collapse occurred. So, just remember, Google this, ISIS, U.S. government, and do some thinking told you all that I can tell you what's going to happen. You just keep watching.